Hi everyone, it's Vacha here from RecordingStudio9.com and thanks for joining me again. Today I'm going to be demonstrating another technique in recording a song in part of my how-to series. And this time it's about mixing and where to start your mix once you have all the tracks recorded. I'm going to use my demonstration uh, recording track of the song Ain't No Sunshine and I'm going to tell you where I start my mix and how I decide what the level is going to be of each of the tracks and so on. One of the things we need to remember when we are doing mixing is to give ourselves enough headroom so that as we add each track into the mix, the volume will keep adding up. So what we need to do, we need to make sure that those volumes don't add up and then we run out of headroom or everything is all so loud that uh, we can't really adjust and we start putting in faders down and so on, which is not the correct way of doing it. Now you might have heard the term gain staging and I will explain it to you very briefly what it is because gain staging and fader writing are not the same thing. Gain staging is basically setting the volume of your source to a certain level and then faders are used to control the volume of the sound of that instrument. So I'm going to show you you know, a little bit about gain staging and fader leveling. At the same time, I'll show you how I'm going to start my mix. So at the moment, I have my kick drum recorded. I have my snare, I have my toms, my overheads, I have my percussion, I have my bass guitar, uh, nylon guitar, steel guitar and folk guitar. I've got three guitars. Then I have some synth pads, some electric guitar that I have added, and my vocals. Now, I should mention again, all of these sounds are coming from my keyboard, my Korg PA3X. There's no real instrument, but it's the same principle if you are recording a live band. As you can see, I have my drum tracks separate. So kick, snare and tom and overhead and percussions are all separate so I can have a good control of my drum section. One of the things that we know about any music that includes a drum set, the drum and especially the kick drum becomes sort of the heartbeat then the timing of the song. It's the kick drum that pretty much keeps all of the other instruments in time. So it is quite an important sound that we need to prompt it out to the listener. And the next instrument that actually keeps the energy of the song, if uh, this instrument is included, is of course our bass guitar a, or bass sound. Whether it be a bass guitar instrument or low frequency instrument, sound, synthesizer sound for different genres of music. The bass guitar is pretty much covers all of the low energy of the song. You know, anywhere between 50 hertz all the way up to 100, 120 hertz or thereabouts. And some of the harmonics that go above that. So we know we've got the kick drum, which is the heartbeat and the timing. And then we have the bass guitar, which is the all of the energy. The next important track in our song would be, of course, our vocals. Because if the song includes a vocal, the vocal is the one that portraying all of the song's emotions and the words and so on. So it is very important. All the other parts of the song arrangement, like the snares, the toms, um, the percussions, the guitars, strings, pianos, and all of those instruments complete the song. They enhance what we already have, being the kick drum, the bass guitar, and the vocals. So to start our mix, my way of mixing it, obviously there's lots of way of mixing it, there is no one way of mixing it, but the way I mix my songs, once I have all of the tracks recorded, 
is to start with my kick drum. And once I have my kick drum gain staged, then I move to the bass guitar. I do gain staging on that one, which we will talk about in a minute. And then I go to the vocals. As you can see, all my other faders are all the way down. They're not even included. And once I have those three tracks gain staged and fader leveled, then I start bringing out the rest of the instrument in to complete the song. 